Go ahead, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> love, love our colleagues at the Delaware Food Bank. Thank you, Senator. Um, uh, uh, I don't have uh, academic data, but what I will tell you is that Oregon Food Bank um, had 40,000 new donors in the last two years. So we've gone from a database of 30,000 to a database of 70,000 donors in the last two years. So a combination of the, the environmental factors in which one in four people in Oregon were experiencing hunger. So everyone knew someone who was needing food assistance. This was not them, this was us. Um, and hunger was impacting us. A combination of uh, an outpouring of, of love, because that's really what community donations are. It is love in the form of a check for our community. And uh, what the federal government did to support um, trust and to authorize and provide credibility to the nonprofit community through the tax code. Okay, I'm just going to have time to, to uh, ask others, but uh, thank you all for joining us today. Thank, 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 thank my colleague, Senator Cortez Masta. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. And, and I want to say thank you to the ranking member and, and Senator Langford uh, for uh, co-chairing this important committee with you. Um, I also uh, cannot thank you enough for just calling the hearing today to highlight uh, what we see here is the good bipartisan work that Congress can do when we work together to be able to deliver for all Americans, including many of the nonprofits across the country and, and here today. As we know, the CARES Act established that charitable uh, deduction for non-itemizers in, in 2020, uh, and the COVID relief package passed in December of 2020 added an extension of the $300 charitable deduction for 2021. So I am proud to have worked with my colleagues on this committee, Senators uh, Langford and Scott, to co-lead the Bipartisan Universal Giving Pandemic Response Recovery Act to expand and extend a tax deduction for charitable giving. Uh, the bill would build on the bipartisan work and ensure that Nevadans who donate to charities, religious organizations, and other nonprofits are able to deduct their contributions from their federal taxes. This legislation recognizes the generous donations many Americans have given to these life-saving organizations and incentivize further charitable giving during the coronavirus pandemic. I know firsthand that during the height of the challenging times of COVID-19 that nonprofits, community organizations, and religious organizations have provided immeasurable relief and support to struggling families in Nevada. Places like Betty's Village, which is an inclusive residential housing community for people um, of diverse abilities, was opened uh, by Opportunity Village at the height of the pandemic. Uh, and I fought for the ability for nonprofits to qualify for that PPP loans during the pandemic. And because of that, uh, my office was able to help them secure that loan and help provide housing and community for people of diverse abilities. By passing the Universal Giving Pandemic Response and Recovery Act, we can ensure nonprofits uh, like Betty's Village can sustain the critical services they pre provide beyond the pandemic. So thank you again uh, to our bipartisan partners in the Finance Committee, Senators Langford, Scott, Brown, Hassan, and Stabenow. Um, for uh, working on this important um, legislation. Let me uh, start with um, uh, Ms. Morgan. I, I, I so appreciate what you do. I am a big supporter of our Northern Nevada Food Bank in Reno and Three Square and all of the food pantries across the country. Um, so thank you um, for your, your commitment there. I also know I just recently had a roundtable discussion in Reno and included uh, many of our community leaders, including members of the um, Northern Nevada Food Bank um, to talk about the crisis parents are, are, are dealing with right now um, with the lack of access to affordable child care. And uh, I'm curious, uh, you highlighted in your testimony how important the federal response was in addressing that tremendous need during the pandemic. It has since stopped. And I, 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 can you discuss how critical support like the CTC was in meeting the overwhelming need and how much harder it will be for organizations like yours to meet the community needs when you see an increase uh, in that need uh, over the last couple of years? Thank you so much, Senator, um, and so much love to our colleagues in Nevada doing uh, food banking work. The numbers tell the story, right? In tw uh, for us in Oregon in 2019, it was 860,000. In 2020, it was 
million people asking for food assistance, and in 2021, it was just over one million. What's the difference between 2020 and 2021? The federal response. Um, and in some cases, the reopening of economies as we became more accustomed to the pandemic. But from my analysis on the ground, it was primarily the federal response. It was the increased unemployment. It was the, um, uh, the direct payments to families. It was the child tax credit that made the difference that folks did not have to show up at a food pantry and ask for a box of food. We want to live in a world where no one has to ask for food where everybody can get all the food they need for their families. And we think that in partnership with the federal government, we can get there. So yeah, I'm scared about this year ahead as um, the provisions of the CARES Act and other federal provisions um, uh, uh, sunset. What then will happen? Are we going to see another tsunami of need? Are we going to see uh, mothers crying in line because they're worried about feeding their babies. So thank you, Senator, and for the entire committee for everything you can do to help us help our communities. Thank you. Uh, I yield uh, the remainder of my time, although little it is. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank my colleague. Important points as always. I think Senator Thune uh, is either online or let's uh, see from uh, yep, Mr. Chairman, I'm online. Great, terrific. Right. Senator Thune. 